prepared. Si Ad, si Sylvia and si Bell. Miss Bell, si Miss Bell yung mauna. Si Ad, si Sylvia po. Ah, okay. Naku, yung may cellphone ko. Bakit ako na kanina eh? Nasaan na ba? Nandito na ba lahat? Yes, sir. Pwede na. Ako na lang mag-play na. Dito na lahat. Uh, Okay. Oo, wala ako nun eh. <laughs> okay, let's formally begin. Hello, go Clantem. Once again, participants and lecturers. So, sino, no? can I ask somebody to read the opening prayer? 
Can I ask Miss Anne Marie our, our help for the opening prayer? Ready, ba, Miss Anne? Sige po. Okay, let's welcome Miss Anne for the opening prayer. Parang no mute ka, Miss Anne. Ah, uh, tayo wait lang po sa bed. Okay. Okay. Is okay. there me and my prayer? Hindi na, okay na. Okay. Uh, let us pray. Good evening, our most heavenly parents and true parents in heaven and earth and all humankind. Family parents, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you've given to us, especially for this day. Uh, it's uh, Christmas Day for today. <laughs> You know, Heavenly Parents and of all of us will be united as one. And this our seminar will be guide us until, and protect us until the end of our life, Heavenly Parent. Heavenly Parent, thank you so much once again, especially for this blessing that we receive, physical food and also spiritual food. Heavenly Parents, I hope this, our DP seminar as a candidate for blessing matching will be success until the end of our seminar, Heavenly Parents. Thank you so much once again. And I hope there are many more blessings to come in our lives. And I pray in behalf of my leaders, elders, brothers, and sisters with humility and gratitude in the parents' name, Aju. 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 So today is the Christmas Eve. And then yes, po. Uh, our topic is, uh, is, our topic is in, you uh, know, uh, in relation to Christmas, which is histology. So, ano ba gagawin natin? Ano ba yung expectation natin sa before mag-start tayo ng lecture, kailangan siguro, kailangan tayong magbigay ng expectation natin for sa Christmas. Sino kayang may volunteer ba? na we volunteer ba for expectation o ibo-volunteer natin <laughs> Miss Corazon anong ina-expect mo sa Christology kasabay nung pag quiz ano pag celebrate natin ng Christmas nadyan ka ba Hello po. Good evening po. Hello. Uh, good evening po. Uh, ang in-expect ko na po dyan sa magiging lecture po natin ng Christology is more on knowing Jesus Christ because uh, today is uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve. Ang uh, ngayong gabi kasi po, hindi... Uh, ay pinagdiriwang natin yung kapanganakan ni Jesus Christ. Although, nasa new normal tayo kasi hindi po tayo mag-gather-gather ngayon, pero through online seminar, pwede din po tayo mag-gather. And then, marami din po yung pinagbago ng buhay natin through this kind of uh, situation po. Yun lang po. Thank you. Miss Corazon, before you meet the movement, how do you celebrate Christmas? One po, masaya. Kasama po yung mga pe, yung buong family po. Pero ngayon po, eto po, naranasan ko na rin po yung mailayo sa kanila. Lalo na po sa mga anak ko. Pagkatapos mong namit ang movement, uh, nag-Christmas ka na ba sa loob ng movement? Ay, last year po, hindi. Ngayon lang po. First time, ngayon lang po. Ah, nasa Bulacan ka ngayon, di ba? Opo. Yes po. How is it different? <laughs> ah, 
naninibago po pero kasi sa New York uh, ah, sinabi mo na pala opo <laughs> pero okay, okay lang naman normal. po kasi pwede naman po mag online din po na pwedeng batiin yung mga mahal mo sa buhay <laughs> Parang sa inyo po, pwede mong bumati ng Merry Christmas. Hindi pa po, mamaya siguro. Mo mga... mo na anak mo? Nasa kwan po sila eh. Nasa center po ng kawayan ngayon. Mag-kwan po sila. Ah, May... okay. Ce- Mag-celebration sila bukas. Kaya andun po sila mag-practice ng sayaw. Ah. Sino pa? Si Miss Pilar pa rin ba doon? Hindi na po. Sinang... Si sina Ate Cheryl Truya na po. Pero ang kawayan center po kay Grace Semenciano Baisa. Siya po yung kawayan. Sino? Baisa? Semenciano Baisa po. po yung alam. bata pa na ah. one member. Hmm, I see. Ayan. Yung Baisa na yun, di ba kataga kabatuan? Minante po, minante. Ah, Minante. Sa Kawayan. Opo. Okay. Uh, sino pa ang pwedeng mag uh, tawag dito? Expectation. So, okay. Expectation. Maiksi lang ba yung ano? Maiksi lang yung Christology, di ba? So, sino kaya dito sa ano? Miss Nevian, what is your expectation uh, about Christology? Hi, Miss Nevian. How's Christmas? Mas maaga yung two hours. Two hours kaya, no? Opo. Uh, two hours uh, ahead kaya, no? Yes. Tama ba ako? Yes, yes. Yes, Tita. What time na sa Australia ngayon? Uh, almost 10. Almost 10. Oh, almost 10. Oh. More than one. Ah, uh, yun nga. Two hours, no? Opo. So, ano yung expectation ni Miss Nevian? Or do you have, ano, uh, stock knowledge about Christology? <laughs> Can you share it with us? Uh, I think my expectation for today's tonight's lecture is obviously to learn more uh, about uh, Jesus' life uh, uh, back back then. Yeah. Um, so, uh, that's, that's my main expectation. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, we will now start with our <coughs> main lecture. Chapter 7 of the actually chapter 7 of Christology is the last chapter of the part 1 of the Divine Principle. And actually, chapter 7 is, I, I always believe that chapter 7 is a continuation of chapter 4, right? The Messiah. So... So to start the lecture, uh, let me call Miss Sylvia to share with you about section one and section two of the Christology. Let us welcome Miss Sylvia Omilio Yapera. Thank you, Ate Rilena. Good evening, everyone. Good, uh, good evening, Kuya Randy, Kuya Herwin, and all participants and other collectors. Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, before I get started, let me uh, share with you my screen. 
ko. Asta naman to. Oh my lord. Oh. Wait a minute. Picture screen. Ooh. And naklik mo na yung share screen ate. Ano ba yun? Wala dito yung backup ko eh. Naligo. <laughs> Patay na ako. Ayun. Meron doon siya sa ilalim mate. Sa ilalim. Pang, pang apat. Share screen. Green uh -huh. siya. Green. Uh, sa ilalim. Share screen. Okay. Yes. Share screen. Nakita mo na? Yeah, pero dito nilalagay niya is hindi ko ha. Uh, Tapos pag ka share screen mo pipiliin mo yung PowerPoint mo. Yan ida double click mo yon kung so, ano yung i-share mo doon. Okay. Yan. Yeah. Okay. Tama na? Okay. So, double click mo siya. Piliin mo yung PowerPoint mo after sharing screen. Okay na po? Nakikita na po ko ate? Yung screen Wala po. pa po kami na po. Agoy. Teka lang. <laughs> Again. Teka ha? How funny. Ha? Lula, look. Aha. Look, Lula. Yeah, one minute, baby. I am doing something. Okay? Lula is doing something. Why? Yeah. What's this? Hirap naman hindi malunong. Salamat po. Yun po, pag nag-share screen, di ba, uh, i-click mo yung share screen. And then makikita mo yung screen nyo po. And then, kung ano yung i- Tawag doon? Kung ano yung, yung file nyo po, i-click, i-double click nyo, then share. Uh, dapat naka-ano siya. Uh, share screen, then i-click nyo po yung ano, magka-highlight. Uh, ano, yung naka-highlight, yun yung share nyo. Yes, eh. Sandali, teha. Belle, can you help me here? Sorry, ate, because hindi ko pa to... What did you do, baby? I do not know how to share my screen. <laughs> I thought I can share this one. Yeah, but I, I wasn't able to share it. Share screen sa ilalim. I already did that, huh? Click mo yung share screen natin, then may makikita ka na, makikita mo yung lahat nung... BJ, can you help me? Yes, ate, for a while, ha? Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yet sharing pa. Gian, can you do this for me? Is share screen mo ako? Sa ilalim, sa ilalim may share screen na boto na ano na naka green share screen paki-click. Nagawa nyo? And then from there nagawa niyo na? Google Drive na lang, Google Drive na lang. Double click. Ato? Oh sige. Rawel po. Sa ilalim and then magha may naka highlight yan yung mga screen na posible yung share po and then i highlight nyo then meron uling share button yon i click nyo yung share button Sabihin, marunong ito yung kaba na ba rin? Masari? 
Naka-open na yung PowerPoint niya sa screen niya. Yes, ate. Naka-open na po. And then, click the share screen una, yung nasa bottom na sa ilalim ng screen nyo, may share screen dyan. And then, pagka-click nyo siya, mayroon lalabas na papakita niya sa inyo yung mga files. Last year ko yan, hindi ko na, hindi nila nakikita eh. Hindi nila nakikita yung screen ko, Dai. Hindi nila nakikita yung screen ko. This one, hindi nila nakikita. I already share screen, di ba? Isi share screen ko. Diba? I'm sorry, ate, because I've been trying to share it, pero hindi siya nakikita. Hindi nyo nakikita ang screen ko. This one, mo nakikita. Here. Not from the Google already. Ano eh, kasi open ko na yung files ko eh. May binago ka po sa sa, sa presentation natin. Wala po. Actually, wala po. Wala dito. Wala dyan. Ito, ito yung opta. Pero hindi, may inopen ko na, ito na yun. Hindi, kanina nga, kanina ko pati inisishare, hindi ko masishare. Itak si Biyabi, please hurry up. Good, ako tagod din yung Manila eh. I'm I'm sorry to keep you waiting, guys. I really had open this ahead. Ano ba siya? Mayroong lumalabas yung kaya no? Kay kay we Cherry Bell. Mayroon kang may lumabas yung kay. Diyan na lang ako magana. May lumabas kay Cherry Bell. Opo. Okay. Kaya dire. Kay Cherry Bell. Diyan na lang na. Yung section one, please. Christology na, balikan ng ano, section 1. Pakisuyo. Ay, oh yes. Pero section 3. Balik ka sa section 1 na lang. Okay, thank you. Oh, mas scroll back. Very funny. <laughs> Yung ano, yung upper arrow po, taas, or yung scroll bar, itong scroll bar nyo, itong scroll bar, yung... Balik ka sa section 1, anak. Yung... Pe... Scroll up mo, Katuyo. Thank you. Scroll up. Kasi section 3 Ayan, na siya. Sige. Sa pa? More pa? Sige pa. Sapa. More, more. And thank you. Maganyan lang ako, Bel, pagka, pagka nag-aanan ako, anak, ha? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, my best. Balik ka sa Christology, chapter 7. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for waiting. <laughs> Pasensya na, dahil kami ay talagang very techy. So, yeah. To the young people. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with us. So tonight, my task is to, to share with you um, Christology, chapter 7, which is, yeah, nasabi na ni Ate Regina, this is the last chapter of the part one of the divine principle. So yeah, Christology is, yeah, the study of Christ's life. So here, Actually, um, we have to deal issues about Christology. Uh, issues which fall within the scope of Christology include the Trinity. Yeah, the Trinity. Nak wala pa, please. 
the Trinity, which deals with the relationship with God, between God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, as well as rebirth, and then the relationship between Jesus and the Holy Spirit and fallen people. So, dito, actually, tayo, we fallen people who seek salvation, perhaps, has been asking many questions. And this um, issues about Trinity and rebirth are the ones that we need to, uh, this concern should uh, needs to be addressed. So yeah, we know that until today, this, this controversy surrounding these issues have never been clearly settled. And secondly, considered considerable conclusion remains in Christian doctrine and the ways of faith. Um, yeah, wala pa na. The key in approaching these matters is to understand the original value of human beings. So, tayo kasi, um, we Christian believers uh, had so many questions about the Trinity, no? God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. We're in, um, from the principles point of view, since we learned from the previous, uh, no, from, from, from the previous chapters that this Trinity should be God, Jesus Christ and another subject partner, object partner of God who would reflect God's dual characteristics in uh, as a counterpart of Jesus Christ. That this should be the Trinity, the original Trinity that God intends to establish. Unfortunately, um, medyo ano to ha, uh, Jesus Christ who had this perfection, who had uh, who has been the first during his time, who had been the and all throughout history actually, who had reached perfection, who had reached the first blessing, wasn't able to actually fulfill this trinity that God intends to realize. Because we knew that Jesus Christ wasn't able to find an object partner which is equivalent to his value. So, yeah, because we know very well that instead of having a the uh, God who has this, um, created Adam and Eve is supposed to, to fulfill this trinity, uh, failed in the Garden of Eden. So instead of having reached um, the three great blessings and uh, having done that, we could have had uh, Adam and Eve should have been able to um, procreate good children centering upon God. We know that instead of having two children, uh, God-centered children, uh, with the output of their failure in the Garden of Eden uh, made us uh, now up to the up to the moment the fallen people no yun yung produce natin so yeah so we have to for us to understand more um, we have to study again the um, original value of a human beings next slide so yeah what is the value of a person who has realized the purpose of creation so we knew that a person who has realized the purpose of creation could become a perfected person. So, um, itong purpose of creation na realize the first purpose of creation ni God, that uh, could have been uh, the, the value of the first human ancestors, Adam and Eve, um, supposed to reach at the time uh, and then if this could have been this could have happened then we could have understand our value from several um, perspective so yeah what are these values first maybe we can uh, may, we can actually i uh, know uh, see uh, our value from the relationship between god and and a fully matured man who can be compared to a mind and body. A, a, a person's body should, should could be could be compared to a, a man who. What's this? How would I say it? Compared to a mind and body who had uh, been the initial or the projection of God in our being in a person which is God's dual characteristics. We know that God's, God has dual characteristics, right? So in a person, uh, we can really see God's dual characteristics through our mind and body, right? So 
similarly, um, the relationship between God and a perfected person or, or a person who had this a character uh, same as that of God could be uh, related to this mind and body who is, I should say, inseparable. Uh, uh, mind and body is we knew should cannot be separated, right? So they should be in an inseparable oneness. So a person, a true person could be, should be, could should have achieved inseparable oneness with God. Um, yeah. So this person who had um, had achieved this inseparable oneness with God uh, could have formed a four position foundation. We know that that a mind and body centering upon God um, could really make a person perfect. Thus, if this person um, could, ex if this person reached that kind of um, character, we can really relate to the heart of God. Therefore, we can really become one with the heart of God. We can really be able to actually um, feel God in our own reality. So such a person could be a temple of God, whom God can dwell continually and uh, come to possess the divine nature or divine value of God. Okay? So Jesus spoke to this as a state of, as it's been stated in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is. Perfect. So, kung, yeah, if we, a person who had achieved a perfect give and take between mind and body, centering upon God, could really become a perfected person. And a perfected person, therefore, could reach a divine value. And uh, yeah, this is a person who had realized that first, first, uh, na, per, realized the purpose of creation. Yeah. So yeah, second, we can uh, consider the value of our us as human being from the perspective of the purpose for which we are being created. So God created us human beings for, for the purpose of sharing his joy to him. So every human being possess a unique, all of us, possess a, a unique value or unique individual character. You see, no matter how many people, how many billion of people now here in our, uh, in, our in, the, in this physical world, we are about 7.8 billion people. But we, we know that no one, no matter how, how, many, how many people are we in this physical world, no one and no two, no, no, no one. No two will ever um, have the same personality. So each of us, as a person, is a substantial object partner who God, who God, uh, who could manifest God's individual embodiment of truth or distinct aspect of God's characteristics. Hence, we as a person is the only one in the universe who can stimulate that distinctive aspect of God's nature to bring him joy. So every, every person who has completed this purpose of creation does have a unique existence in the whole cosmos. So that is our value, no? So if it is perfection, of course we, have, we can achieve divine value and we have our unique existence. Who could be the only one to share joy and could really um, manifest distinctly the the characteristics of God. And thirdly, um, we also, we can consider the value of us as human being based on our relationship with the universe. We learned that a person who has completed the purpose of creation can govern the universe. That is the three great blessings. Yeah, you see this one. So, 
possessing both spirit and flesh. Yeah, we know our mind representing and encapsulating our, I mean, the spirit of God in our body, God's external um, characteristics. Um, a human being who has this first spirit and flesh, we can actually rule the spiritual with our spirit self and the physical world with our physical self. Then we, acting as a mediator to the whole cosmos, these two worlds, the spiritual world and the physical world, actually can have a, re a really, um, can enter into a relationship and form a unified cosmos, which is a complete object partner to God. So here we can say that we as a person, um, our spirit encapsulates all elements of the spirit world, while our body or our flesh, our flesh also encapsulates all elements of the physical world. Thus, this encapsulation, uh, the, our whole being encapsulates all the essences of everything in the whole cosmos. This is why we are called the micro of the universe. For this reason, we human beings has the value of the entire universe. So we can therefore say that no matter how small or insignificant a single part may be, our value is the same as that of the whole being. So in like manner, um, a matured person is unique in all the universe and has a significant and uh, yeah he's a, he's a significant value thus our value is equivalent to that of the whole cosmos there is a thing i hope dai sunod na po so hitting na natin ngayon kasi yun kanina we were just talking about the value of a person who could have who have risk the purpose, I mean, who have completed the purpose of creation. Now, since we are talking about, we are studying the life of Jesus Christ, we will talk about now Jesus and the person who had realized the purpose of creation. So as a person, a perfect person who has the same divine nature as God, he is unique in all cosmos, as we have previously said, I mean, discussed. Furthermore, he possesses the value of the cosmos. So, Alam natin na si Jesus Christ is the only person throughout history na who had reached perfection. So what then is the value of Jesus Christ? He is the very first person who have um, possessed the three values. No? A person who have reached a divine nature, a person who have uh, had reached a, that unique uh, existence, and a person who has... Um, What's this? Who, 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 who could represent the whole cosmos? So, being ha having reached that uh, value, there is no greater value than that, actually. Then any person or uh, uh, who, who uh, there is no greater value than the value of a person who has realized the ideal of creation. So that was the value of Jesus Christ, who surely attained the highest imaginable value. So, kung titingnan natin. Siya lang yun. Kaya nga, um, Jesus Christ, as a being, even if he is a human being, but who had realized the ideal of creation as an, uh, on the individual level, had inherited the value or the true value as that of our um, creator, God. So, that's why Jesus, as, as a human being, has been, ano, um, has been a manifestation of God's um, existence, as in as it is it as it is being said in First Timothy uh, chapter two verse five that for there is one God and there is one mediator between God and the men and men and the man the man Christ Jesus. I think sorry, kaya hindi ko masadong na. Kanina, I think I have made mentioned na. 
uh, a person who could reach perfection, who had, had this divine value and uh, could represent the whole cosmos, uh, our, our our relationship to God could be related, uh, could uh, we could be the mediator between God and human beings and the whole, uh, whole uh, humanity and uh, in the previous lecture. So Jesus Christ, as we knew, who had been um, become the mediator between God and fallen people. That's why we human beings, we uh, Christians um, had believed uh, Jesus Christ had perceived him as God. Um, however, the question is, is Jesus Christ really God himself? So when Philip Jesus, uh, asked Jesus to show him God, Jesus said, He who has sent me has seen the Father. How can you say, show me the Father? So yeah, it is being said. So based on such biblical verses as this, many Christians have believed that Jesus Christ is Jesus is God, the Creator. So yun, yun naman talaga ang naiintindihan natin, even ngayon, no? Yun ang akala natin na Jesus Christ having had this perfection, uh, fulfilling the three great, fulfilling the, achieving the three uh, value of being, what, having, having received, having received, having achieved the divine value, having um, um, realized the unique existence of the cosmos and being the true representative or the microcosm of the whole universe or the whole cosmos, we had thought that Jesus Christ indeed is God. But Jesus uh, may, may well be called God because as a man, he was able to realize the purpose of creation and who lives in oneness with God. We know that. And he has a divine nature. Nevertheless, he is not God himself. Bakit nga ba? Bakit hindi siya si God? Patuloy daw da, dai. One more slide. Yeah. So, tingnan natin. The body may be understood. So, dito, tingnan natin ha. Uh, the, the, the body may be understood to be the mind, sick, and self. Alam natin yan doon sa, sa, sa previous chapter, no? Na yung mind natin is the, like, the original self. But our body could be the second self of our mind, right? But our mind, our body is not the mind itself, right? And so in like manner, ganun din ang sitwasyon ni Jesus Christ. Yeah, because although he had been one with God, but he himself is not God. But he is the second self of God. So it's a Romans chapter 8 verse 34, it is being said na, he who has in me has seen the Father. So, I, yeah, ayun ba yun? Okay. So, uh, John pala. So, John 14, uh, 9 to 10, he said, who, He who has in me has seen the Father. Kaya ito yung nakakapag-trigger ng akala natin na Jesus Christ himself is God. Pero hindi natin din um, uh, sasabi na siya talaga si God kasi it is written that since his resurrection, Jesus has been interceding for us before God as Romans, as stated in Romans chapter 8 verse 34. As he did while he was on earth. This tells us that Jesus was not God himself. So, kung siya talaga si God, bakit ba kailangan niyang siya ang mag-intercede o siya yung mag-mediate sa atin between God and us fallen people? So this one, we can understand that God, uh, that Jesus, could, has been the second self of God, having had united with his heart, having had uh, achieved the divine nature as that of God, having had achieved a unique value, and uh, being, uh, could really relate uh, with both the spiritual and the state of physical world as a microcosm. But I should say that God, that Jesus Christ is not God himself. So therefore, it is written that since his resurrection, Jesus has been interceding for us before God. And he did not and he did while he was on earth. Yeah. And Jesus were God. If Jesus were God, 
how could he intercede for us before himself? Moreover, Jesus called God the Father, thus acknowledging that he was not God himself. If Jesus were God, how could he be tempted by Satan as Jesus was? So alam naman natin na in the previous chapters na um, Satan has been tempting tempting Jesus Christ. And then when he was going to the cross, he was actually um, praying, right? So kung siya talaga si God, bakit naman siya magpipray pa? Diba? So it is very, ano, so we can also say that uh, we can then conclude that with finality that Jesus was not God himself from the words he uttered on the cross. Most especially when he was already hanging on the cross, he uttered, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So dito mga, mga brothers and sisters, we can therefore say, and I hope that um, we now... Uh, having known the truth, could really be able to reflect and discern more na God, Jesus Christ was not God himself. He is the only begotten Son of God and He is the Messiah. He was sent by God to really say, uh, to really bring salvation to the world, but He is not God himself. So, yung controversy kanina, gusto ko lang, uh, uh, sarili ko tong ano, kanina yung uh, controversy in uh, Trinity about Trinity. Um, God actually sent Jesus Christ here on this physical earth to bring salvation to the people, to the fallen people. And then having this perfection, he should have found or been able to meet his true object partner that could complement his value. So, as the only begotten son, he should have met the only begotten daughter in his time for them to become the true parents thus bringing also reverse to human beings the fallen the fallen people that was uh, discussed on the previous on the very first slide on our uh, study so uh, about Christology so yun dapat yung maintindihan natin sana na Jesus Christ did not come here to die on the cross, but he should have come here to become the true parents. Thus, realizing the original three, um, that the original trinity that God has intended to realize, which our first human answers, Adam and Eve, was not able to fulfill. Thus, pag naging true parents, kung nag, nakapag-asawa sana si Jesus Christ, naging true parents sila, siya, then we could have had received reverse during his time. Unfortunately, that did not happen. So, yeah. So, yun yung, ano, ang, yun, I think that ends my topic today. Yun ba yun, Dai? Kumana? Okay. Thank you po. That's a, give a big ano. Give a round of applause to Miss Sylvia. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sylvia. So that was section one and two of Christology, wherein we have reviewed uh, the for, the <clears throat> the value of a person who has uh, who has achieved perfection which is the first blessing and that we have learned Alina learn that <laughs> we have learned that we uh, as a person who has uh, achieved perfection we have the same value as we have the same divine value as heavenly parent and that we he achieved we achieve. If we become perfect, we achieve I know, uh, unique value to you, unique existence and that no one can uh, can feel that existence within the heart of God and that we also become the mediator of the 
heavenly parents and we become the mediator of heaven and earth. So that's the value of a person who has achieved the uh, perfection and that this is the value of Jesus Christ who has uh, attained perfection 4,000 years ago. Siya yung unang naka, uh, he was the first one to accomplish perfection 4,000 years ago. And of course, after 2,000 years after Jesus Christ, we know that the Father has also achieved the same perfection. So, sinigundahan siya ni Father. After 6,000 years. Jesus Christ, from Adam to, to ano, from Adam to Him, siya lang yung 4,000 years, siya lang yung naka-achieve nun. And after that, <clears throat> after uh, Jesus Christ, uh, as father to to in to 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 continue his mission father uh, perfected himself so that after 6000 years nagkaroon din na second person who has uh, achieved perfection and that is our true father so in section two, it was clarified uh, that Jesus Christ was not, I know, was not God Himself, but uh, the uh, uh, but uh, He have I know, completed, uh, achieved perfection. So that he has that divine uh, value. So in the next chapter and section, uh, we will be. Uh, it will be continued by the section three and four. Will be continued by. Sorry, by Miss Cherry Bell Lumokso. So let us welcome Miss Cheribel Lumukso for her um, presentation and um, presentation of the section three and four of chapter seven Christology. Miss Cherry Bell? Malakpakan natin siya. Nandiyan na siya. Narinig ako? Miss Cherry Bell, nakamute ka. Nakamute ka, Miss Cherry Bell. Kailangan na ako. What happened? Ay, hindi na siya nakamute, pero hindi ka namin marinig. No one. <laughs> Ate, sobrang ang gagaling ng aming mga computer kasi hindi ito ano, hindi ito old school. At saka ang mga tao hindi rin old school. Wow. It's a perfect combination po. Kasi siya po talaga. Hello po. Naririnig ko. Okay, Alright. Okay. Yes. 
Oh, Hi, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. Uh, good evening, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Sorry for all the uh, technical problems that we had as they did at, uh, at this moment. You know, um, anyway, please um, bear with me because maybe I could not speak the word clearly because I have some problem with my mouth right now. But uh, nothing should stop us from, the, uh, from sharing the word of our true parents, right? So, yeah, let's yeah. continue. <laughs> yeah, so in in. Okay, uh, loud and clear, no. Loud and clear, no man. Okay, that's okay, great. No yeah. Okay, so in continuation of the chapter seven, we have learned about uh, the true value of Jesus Christ. So now, let us compare the Jesus and the fallen people. So a fallen people has nothing of a value of a true person who has completed the purpose of creation while on the other hand jesus christ came with the full value of a true person who has completed the purpose of creation now second um, ha, um fallen people has fallen to such a lowly status that he looks up to the angel. So, um, if I could remember it clearly, we've, uh, I've me we've mentioned before that um, we human beings, sometimes we're even afraid of the angels. It's either we, we praise them, we glorify the angels, right? But Jesus Christ himself, he put the angels and all things under his dominion. Now, third, ha, um, fallen people has original sin and the conditions through which Satan can attack. And then, uh, while Jesus Christ had no original sin and no condition in himself for Satan to invade him. So, um, like Jesus Christ, uh even during uh during his time with his disciple yeah disciple he even uh said that to he said to satan to uh like stay away from him and then he does his condition during the standard for the prayer then fourth um fallen people cannot fathom the will and heart of god at most he can catch only a glimpse of them so fallen people really does not know how what the feeling of god is or how god's heart is while jesus experienced god's heart as his own reality in his daily life so if we could is examine deeply the life of jesus christ those who are not written in the bible because we as we read the bible we can only um read from the day jesus christ like third day um after the three kings right and nothing is written about jesus Christ's life from there up to the life where he came back to teach god's word That's right so during those times and even after those times when when he go to a lot of pain and suffering until he died on the cross G um, jesus have experienced god's heart now a person has virtually none of his original value as long as he remains in the fallen state so if human being will stay in a fallen state 
even if there is already a way on how to cleanse our fallen state or our fallen nature, these fallen people will still have this fallen sin or the original sin. And if, however, he were to be reborn spiritually and physically through Jesus, the true parent, and become his good children, cleansed of the original sin, he would be restored as a true person who has perfected himself, just like Jesus Christ himself. So the only way to these fallen people to become, uh, to cleanse the original sin is through, uh, by being, reborn spiritually and physically through Jesus Christ. And then, if that person being reborn, he could then store his true value or as a true person, a perfect person, person just like Jesus Christ himself. Now, in section four, uh, the rebirth and the Trinity. So Jesus and the Holy Spirit and their mission to give birth. Now, the doctrine of the Trinity has remained one of the most mysterious topics in Christian theology. Moreover, the related doctrine of rebirth, through seemingly evident to all, also needs deeper elucidation. So we will examine these doctrines in this section. So we, we've learned that the human being since the fall became under the dominion of Satan, right? And uh, Adam and Adam become an evil father, and Eve become an evil mother, thus multiplying evil children. So what we are going to do is um, how can rebirth and the Trinity be? Restore. So, Jesus told Nicodemus, unless one is born anew, we cannot see the kingdom of God. That is in John chapter 3, verse 3. So, why must people have to be reborn anew or to be born anew? Because Adam and Eve fell and became evil parents, multiplying evil children. Hence, fallen people must be born anew as children without original sin. So, all since we studied the principle, like starting from the fall, we know that we are all under Satan's dominion, right? And we are, our ancestors became, since Adam and Eve became evil parents also the our ancestors are evil parents and everyone around us today actually are evil spirit uh, evil parents because we are under satan's dominion the fallen people so how are we going to restore it's through rebirth or we have to be born anew jesus came as the true father in order to give rebirth so that is the purpose of Jesus Christ. That is why he was sent by our Heavenly, um, Heavenly Father to give rebirth to fallen people and to transform them into good children since we are bad children and thoroughly cleanse of original sin. The Holy Spirit came as the true mother. So, as you can see here in the chart, God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. So, so um, Jesus is a true father. And the Holy Spirit is a true mother. Since Jesus Christ... The Basi Jesus Christ will um, has not been married, right? So, if Jesus Christ have been married, it could be the Holy Spirit, which is the true mother. 
but since there, he has not married so there is no good children right so for this reason jesus said he would return in his father's glory so to re give rebirth or born anew to complete the four position foundation to complete the trinity and give birth to good children by having a true true mother representing a true a uh, holy spirit in the trinity now the spiritual rebirth through jesus and the holy spirit jesus said that no one can enter the kingdom of god unless he is born anew through water and the holy spirit and being feminine so the holy spirit represents a feminine um nature so the holy spirit consoles and moves the hearts of a people now jesus said um here jesus said that no one can enter the kingdom of god unless he is born anew so it is it means that all of us the fallen people should be born anew in order for us to enter the kingdom of god if we are not going to be born anew, then we will not enter the kingdom of God. And that is why Jesus Christ needs a Holy Spirit or a true mother. Because we can, uh, there is, uh, we cannot, they cannot produce children without a mother. So, um, because there should be a dual characteristic. Since the beginning, we have studied the dual characteristics, right? There should be a mother and a father or the man and a woman in order to produce a good children so here so when we believe in jesus as our as the savior through the inspiration of the holy spirit we receive the love of the spiritual true parents generated through the give and take between jesus and the holy spirit through this love new life is infused into us and our spirits are reborn as new selves now um here spiritual rebirth through jesus and the holy spirit so jesus is the, the spiritual true father and the holy spirit is the spiritual true mother so then uh, because of the union of jesus and the holy spirit centering upon god there is a new selves which is us then we can become we can have a spiritual rebirth since jesus is having uh, had a perfect have a perfect character himself right and he ha since he has not married so jesus was united with a holy spirit and then so so this is the whole uh the the spiritual rebirth so what kind of a person is a holy spirit if eve had attained perfection she would have become a substantial mother however after the fall god took away eve's spirituality so So going back to the fall, so Adam and Eve, if they have reached perfection, they could have been our true parents. But because they fell, so they became our false parent. And thus we need to reborn or to be born anew. And when Jesus came, Jesus became a true father but he has not have a true mother right so if eve had attained perfection he would have become a substantial mother and because of the fall god took away eve's spirituality Eve's spirituality was supposed to return to the earth earthly bride of jesus and wear a substantial form so um during jesus time he he since he is not disdained to go to uh, to to die on the cross right jesus is supposed to be married and that bride should be the 
the return of Eve's spirituality. And that should have been a true mother. Or like a, a counterpart of Jesus. However, her spirit, spirituality could not return and Jesus could not become a substantial parent. So that is the... Um, uh, that is the mission of that was supposed to be the mission of Jesus to become a substantial parent, right? But because he, uh, if spirituality did not return, Jesus could not become a substantial parent. That to fulfill the purpose of creation, Jesus and the Holy Spirit stand before God as object partners who separately manifest the dual characteristics of God. They unite through give and take with each other, with God as the center and form the four position foundation. So now, Jesus and the Holy Spirit thus became one, centering on God and His oneness continues the Trinity. So even though, Jesus Christ did not marry or did not have a true mother. I did uh, did not become a like Jesus Christ did not have uh, a substantial a, a counterpart, no, a physical. But the Trinity were still being um, still continues with the God. Uh, with Jesus, with uh, the give and take action of Jesus and the Holy Spirit centering upon God. And that becomes um, one or the four position foundation of Jesus Christ. So that is why uh, Jesus is had achieved perfection. So Jesus and the Holy Spirit in one is with God could form only a spiritual trinity. They could fulfill only the mission of spiritual true parents. So that is why. So because of this, they do not have the physical uh, or the true mother. Then it becomes so Jesus and the Holy Spirit in one is with God could become only or could form only a spiritual trinity. So not the physical trinity. So they could fulfill only the mission of spiritual true parents, not the physical true parents, without physical true parents. The perfect uh, trinity. So Christ must return in flesh and find his bride. So that is the one that uh, Jesus have failed to, uh, to do here on earth. They will form on the earth a perfect trinity with God and became true parents both spiritually and physically. Because, right, as I have mentioned earlier, only uh, spiritual trinity or the spiritual have been um, completed. They will give fallen people both spiritual and physical rebirth, removing their original sin and enabling them to build trinities on earth with God as the center. So when fallen people are restored to the point where they can establish true four position foundations centered on God, they will finally be able to build the kingdom of heaven on earth where God's three great blessings are fulfilled. So, Christ must return. So, and that is what all most of the Christians have been waiting, right? The second advent. So, when Christ return, he must return in, in the flesh and to find his bride. So, then they will form on earth a perfect trinity with God and became true parents, both spiritually and physically. So when this is achieved, it would be a kingdom of heaven here on earth and in heaven. Because that is already the, uh, the completion of the purpose of creation and 
the establishment of the ideals of God. Yep. I think last night, I think. No, no. And we all know that since the fall, God has worked for the day when he could give rebirth to people and join them in trinities with himself. For this purpose, God intended to exalt Jesus and his bride as the second Adam and Eve to become the true parents of humanity. However, the resurrected Jesus and the Holy Spirit in oneness with God could form only spiritual trinity and they could fulfill only the mission of spiritual true parents. So when fallen people are restored to the point where they can establish true for position foundation enter centered on God, they will finally be able to build the kingdom of heaven on earth where God's three great blessings are fulfilled. So that is what we are doing right now at this moment since we know that it is the last days. So we should uh, do everything we can no matter what in order to receive the three great blessings right brothers and sisters so i think that would be the la uh, the the end of my task so thank you so much thank you mr bell so Dami pa nating time. So, reflection time. So, what have we learned? What is our, what are our new realizations? So, anyone who would like to reflect first or who would like to volunteer first? Ano yung bago nating, ano? What is our new learning based on our lecture? So the Trinity. So you, the Trinity is one of uh, among the several uh, controversies about Christology, right? and it was clarified that. The Trinity, the original Trinity is who? Sino ang original Trinity? The original Trinity is God, God, Heavenly Parent, and Adam and Eve. So that's the reason why when Jesus Christ came here on earth 4,000 years ago, he is supposed to, standing as the second Adam, after he perfect himself, he needs to, one of his mission is to find the substantial Eve. But he was not given that uh, chance to find the substantial Eve he, because he was crucified. The people whom God have prepared Adam and Eve, uh, whom God prepared to receive him, have shouted to the Roman governor, uh, Pontius Pilate, that to crucify him. Sino ba nag-decide na, no, i-crucify si Jesus Christ to ah, 4,000 years ago? Ah, no, 2,000 years ago. <laughs> Is it Pontius Pilate? Is it the Roman Empire? If you read, if you are to read the Bible again, the one who, sad to say, the one who shouted crucify him are the people whom God prepared to accept Jesus Christ. That's the sad news. <laughs> Contrary to popular and common belief.
So, yun. The Trinity should be uh, through the Trinity magkakaroon na after perfection. Of course, we need to, to of course, after individual perfection, Nagdala ko ng garda. Sorry, hindi pala ako. <laughs> okay, sorry po. Nakamit pala ako. <laughs> Dami-dami ko sinasabi. Tapos so, wala pala. <laughs> so, uh, as I was saying, what is our, ano, Based on the lecture, what is what are our new learnings? Sino ang gustong mag-umpisa? Mandami pa tayong oras. Sabi sa inyo, mabilis lang yung chapter 7. Sino ang, ano? Wala ba tayong volunteer to reflect? Ano yung bagong naintindihan sa Christology? Especially the controversy if uh, Jesus Christ. Any one of you who has ano, first time na na realized that Jesus Christ is not God Himself, but the substantial embodiment of God, and He is the Son and Heavenly Parent or God is the Heavenly Father. And then that's one of the controversy that we have clarified. Another is that uh, about the Trinity. That the Trinity, that the original Trinity is not uh, the the one that we we all the new as Christians because uh, Filipinos are Christians that yeah. and that. We always thought that the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And there are uh, and there are three persons in one God. Iba ganin yung usual na uh, understanding natin, but the True Trinity is the Trinity of God, Adam, and Eve. But this was not fulfilled because of the fall. So the one of the mission of Jesus Christ was to, to, to fulfill this and to find a substantial Eve. After perfecting himself, he need to find the substantial Eve so that they together they could perfect they could uh, start to perfect family so so that there will be family perfection and then eventually perfection of the minion so yun yun dapat so sino yung uno magre reflect <laughs> laba so, ibo-volunteer na naman natin. Volunteer natin. Sir Julius, you have Kuya Julius. Merry Christmas po. Sir Julius. Wala. Okay. So, walang additional si Sir Julius. Yes, Siguro mamaya. Yes, no. Reflection daw muna. Ah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Kuya Julius. Ay, si Christmas, Christmas namin. Pwede naman ano eh. Padala. <laughs> <laughs> Sa akin din, ganun din. <laughs> Papadala namin. <laughs> yes po.
na naka naka mute ewan ko hindi ka namin kay naririnig may naririnig ba kayo ako kasi wala eh Anyone, may naka, naririnig niyo ba si Kuya? Naririnig niyo ako? Ganun eh. Ha? Ako? Wala din? Wala din? Naririnig kita ate, pero si Kuya hindi po. Ay. Ah, si yes, Kuya. Okay. Yes, so good evening. Ayan na. Ah, good evening Kuya again. Merry Christmas po. Ah, yes, good evening. Merry Christmas po. Palala move mo. Oo. Oh, Pag-grab mo. <laughs> Padala mo. Pa-deliver mo na lang ko. Hello sa akin ha. <laughs> yes, sa kuya. Yes, sa akin. Mauna ka na. Mauna ka muna kuya. <laughs> Salbahe ano. Sige po kuya. Meron po kayong adik uh, na or about Christmas. Mamaya na si sila muna. Ah, uh, sila daw muna. Sila muna ang magano. Uh, tapos pa pinali okay. na lang tayo. Ah, sige po yan. Mauna daw kayo. So, Kuya Aki. Are you there, Kuya Aki? Ikaw daw mauna. Ako <laughs> po. Narinig po ako. Hello. Yes. Narinig po kita, Sir Kuya Aki. Siguro narinig din na. Okay. Miss Silva, naririnig mo si Kuya Aki? Yes, ate. Okay. Naririnig ka doon sa Kuya. Because very noisy. Very noisy sa labas, Kuya. Okay pa. Yes. So, um, Any new uh, understanding, new realizations, Kuya Aki? about Christology? New inspiration? Uh, siguro po, understanding po. Okay. I, 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 okay. I understand some, a part where the verse said that who, he, who has seen, I, who has seen in me, I'm totally, ko na. I mean, who has seen me as in the Father, how can you show me? Nakalimutan ko bigla. Ah, uh, naman. So, yung who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say? Yeah, how can you say? Show me the Father. So, so sa ano po sa realization? Eh, uh, sa understanding ko po ng part niya ni is uh, that. Ah, ano kung tawo tayo? Ah, yun. Tega lang po. Uh, yun, so sa understanding ko po is that uh, that part when they when Jesus said that he is not God himself but he is uh, he is God but he is not God himself is that uh, you know uh, is that as human beings style we are representation of God himself so as our body we show it as we are God but only if we are united with him mind and body mind and body to God. So, yun yung, uh, yun yung understanding ko na naiintindihan ko na kami, uh, if you want to know what God looks like, you have to look at yourself. You have to look at at, at other people because that is the representation of how God looks. Kasi if you think about God, literal na God, si God, you won't see Him but because, ano, you know, only for ten, ten, ano, only for ten, only present, and you cannot see him, uh, even spiritually, I think. So he made us human beings as his representatives, para makita siya at para maniwala tayo na totoo si ano, Heavenly Father. So that's my understanding about that part, and and that that question is really ano, uh, like really, ano, like metaphorically, rin. it's it's really ano. Deep, I think it's really deep to understand that how Jesus said, how Jesus said that part. So, yun po yung may ano, reflection ko po. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, Kuya Aki. Kuya Aki is saying that uh, now it is clear to us that uh, why Jesus Christ said um, the, that phrase wherein he has who has seen me has seen the Father, not because he is God himself, but because he is the image of God. And that he has, uh, and God, ha, and he has the divine nature or the divine character. He, he inherited, that person inherited the, the divine characteristic of God. That's why he said that phrase in the Bible 2,000 years ago. So, thank you again, Kuya Aki. So, let us hear. So, pakinig naman tayo kay Ate Corazon. Reflection. Dami na hunting oras. Grabe, kundi wako. Okay, pag good evening ulit. Merry Christmas ulit din po sa inyo lahat. Uh, uh, yes, Merry Christmas po. Ate Corazon. Ay, ayan mo lang, uh, Sa ngayon po, uh, natutunan ko na si Jesus, although sinasabi nung sa, sa Romano, nung kasi laking Romano po ako, bakit kaya, yun nga, yung sinasabi nila na uh, siya, yung, siya yung Diyos natin, ganun. Tapos, Hindi ko nga shadow na intindihan kasi syempre na naguguluhan pa ako noon eh marami, marami din po akong inattendan na mga religion then umattend din po ako kasi ako ng Bethany ano pa yun Saxid Jehovah ganun tapos yan po Romano yan po yung mga pinuntang ko ni eh, almost puro Jesus din po yung naririnig ko although ngayon at nag nag online seminar po ako dito sa invitation Ngayon ko mas naintindihan kung kung bakit uh, kung kung ano pala dapat ang uh, ang pagkakaintindi kay Jesus tapos tapos yung sa angels sabi kasi ng mga matatanda pag ganyan yung mga bata ba pag tulog yung mga malilit na bata sabi nila nilalaro ng mga angels nila sabi nila ganyan e sabi sabi ko naman ni sabi ko naman ni Totoo kaya yun? Yung mga ganong isyo. So, ngayon na, ngayon na po kung dito ako. Po. <laughs> kaya nga po eh. Yes. Tapos ngayon po oh. na an, ito, nag, nag-aaral ako ng divine principle. Mas naiintindihan ko po kung ano po yung, yung kung ano si Jesus and then kung ano po yung mga mga kailangan ko pang maintindihan. Ah, salamat kasi isa ako ay napabilang ako sa participants ninyo. Thank you po. Participants po tayong lahat po kasi mas marami din po kami na na natututunan from your reflection. Uh, ma- Merry Christmas po. <laughs> Miss Corazon. Thank you po. And we we are Huwag din sana po nating kalimutan. We're, we're not supposed to not to forget that in order for Jesus Christ to truly complete himself is that he needs uh, a substantial ill. Which is yung sinasabi dun sa lecture kanina sa section 4 na uh, Jesus, uh, God Have, ano, kinuha niya muna yung spirituality ni Eve after the fall. And that yung spirituality na yon ibabalik niya dapat pag, uh, pag dumating si Jesus Christ at nahanap niya na yung kanyang Eve. So, ang ibig sabihin po nun, isa sa mga mission ni Jesus Christ is to find yung Eve. Mahanap niya yung Eve na yon sa panahon niya. Kaso, hindi siya nabigyan ng pagkakataon na mahanap yon dahil nga napako siya sa krus. Pero, at isa pa, yon Doon sa Trinity na sinasabi natin, sa original Trinity kasi, uh, na-discuss naman ni 
diniscuss ulit really, sa so chapter 3, yung original trinity is that si God, si Adam, and Eve. So dahil nasira yung original trinity na yun dahil sa fall, yun din yung yun din yung established ni Jesus Christ. Yun din yung mission niya na magkaroon uli na na mai, ano, maibalik yung original trinity. So that kailangan maging perfect muna yung character ng isang babae at isang lalaki bago siya mag-asawa. So yun yun. Pero hindi nga siya nabigyan ng pagkakat. Na perfect niya na yung sarili niya so ang gagawin niya dapat Kung hindi siya uh, napako sa Cruz is hanapin niya yung uh, only begotten daughter uh, na only begotten daughter. Bakit nauna si Jesus Christ? Kasi siya yung, yung alam naman natin pagdating sa Paul na naaral na natin yon sino, sino ba yung mas ano? Sino ba yung mas uh, Mas malaki ang kasalanan or tamo ba? Mas malaki ang kasalanan between Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. 'Di ba si si Adam mas ano, mas konti kung kung ano, mas konti yung kasalanan niya. Si Eve kasi yung dahil si Eve yung nagpasimuno nung physical fall, 'di ba? Siya din yung unang nagkasala through the through the spiritual fall. and then minultiply niya yung kasalanan at ginaya niya si Eve ay si si Lucifer so nagkaroon ng physical fall so ibig sabihin yun yung ibig sabihin ng multiplying the, the isa sa mga multiplying yung yung criminal act so minultiply niya yon so yun yun so kailangan kasi Yun yung isang mission ni Jesus Christ is to find that Eve. Kaya nauna muna siya dahil mas maliit yung kas- bilang pangalawang Adam, nauna siya. And then yung pangal And then pagkatapos niyang ma-perfect yung sarili niya individually, and then yun, that's the time na hahanapin niya ngayon yung substantial Eve. Yun yung only begotten daughter. Di ba si Jesus Christ siya yung only begotten son 2,000 years ago. Pero sabi niya, babalik ako. So dahil sinabi niya na babalik ako, so magkakaroon uli ng only begotten son si God after 2,000 years after Jesus Christ. So ganun din pa rin dahil hindi ngayon natupad na mahanap yung only begotten daughter sa panahon Jesus Christ dahil napako siya sa krus Ganon din ang gagawin ng Lord of the Second Advent. Kaya may sinasabi tayo sa section 4 na perfect trinity. So yung perfect trinity, yung perfection ng trinity na yon, yun yung original trinity na hindi na, na, na fulfill ni Adam and Eve ay ipufulfill ng third Adam together with the substantial Eve. or yung only begotten daughter. Yun, yun yung ibig sabihin po nun. So, sino pa yung next na mag, mag, tagal? Mag, reflect. Can we hear from Miss Anna Marie? Yes po, good evening. So, Miss Anna Marie, may Ako bago ka bang natutunan? Po? Sa, miss, may bago kang natutunan sa Christology? Do you yes, have uh, 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 da, 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 full learning? Nalalaman ko about Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> what is that about? Ano, what is that all about? Pwede bang paki-share sa amin, Miss Anna? Um, uh, short reflection lang mo, te. So, ayun po. Sige good evening po. Good evening, Heavenly Parents and True Parents. Good evening po, elders, at Rilina, mga ano, candidates, participants. Na. So, yun. My reflection about Christology is all about... Actually, before ko na, na ano talaga, na-meet yung movement is I'm a devoted Iglesia. 
But my parents is devoted, uh, katoliko. Nagpupakonvert lang ako na iglesia through my relative. Okay. And then, almost three years ako mm. nag-iiglesia. Ano ba, yung, nato, yung kaalaman ko is, para sa akin yung kamag relatives ko is mahilig sila manila ng ibang religion. So which is, in short, walang respeto, ganun. Sabi ko, hindi ako ganun. <laughs> sa, sabi ko nga sa kanila, sabi ko, parang may hinahanap ako na parang, ano ba, ma- kung ano talaga yung totoo talaga ba, kasi ganito, ba't ganito nga nang si Manalo, hindi naman siya yung ano, ganun. So, yun, hanggang sa, nung namit ko yung movement, ano, sa mawa yata, sabi na, ilang beses ako na fundraisingan, sabi ko, ba't ganun. Although hindi ako humili ng items, pero nagdo-donate ako kasi masyadong mahal yung items. So, nandito, tapos ang iit-liit lang. Tapos <laughs> sabi ko, <laughs> oh, totoo ko yan. Pero sabi ko, nagdo-donate lang ako ng 20, 50. Tapos sabi ko, siguro mga after one month, two months, ganun, na-invite ako, sabi ko. Tapos yung nag, ano, nag-approve sa akin about sa items na yun, gagawin ko din pala yun. Sabi ko, ano ko kaya ito ibibenta? Ganito, ganun. Tapos, syempre, about doon, na, nalaman ko din yung DP hanggang sa sabi ko, Christology is all about Jesus Christ. Sa, yung Jesus Christ kasi, sa iglesia is, ano siya, kumbaga inano sila, true manalo, sabi ko, ba't ganun? Tapos, itong DP na to ilang beses ko na akong nakarinig about even principle, ganun. Tagalog man, ng English, gano'n. Although, alam ko siya baga kay Didi, pero hindi ko siya masyadong kaya i-lecture kasi I'm not a bit lecturer. Tagapakinig lang ako, taga-reflect, gano'n. So, yun pala siya yung pinaka-ano. Although, nakasala siya before since birth, di ba? This is now the day na ano talaga siya. Tawag nun. Sisila ngayong araw na to and then celebrate natin. And then, ano to sacrifices na nagawa ni Jesus Christ until... Although, hindi siya perfect. Pero, para sa akin, perfect na talaga siya kasi... Doon ako na, doon yung, yung, yung simula kong religion eh, si Jesus Christ na gano'n sa Katoliko bago ako nagpapakalbert iglesia. So, nang sa movement natin, nagiging strong yung paniwala ko about Jesus Christ and then representative for true parents, gano'n na gano'n pala talaga siya. Although natanggap ko na sa sarili ko na sila, siya talaga and then sila true parents yung refer, representative, sabi ko, okay, gano'n. So, natanggap ko na sa sarili ko na, yan, siya talaga yung <laughs> John the Baptist, kaya ayun. Napaka-tateful and grateful din ako na namit yung movie natin, gano'n, na bago yung buhay ko. Dati hanggang ngayon, char lang. Totoo naman po talaga, ang laki ng pinagbago ng buhay ko ngayon nung naging member na ako sa movement. Kaya I'm so thankful and grateful sa inyong lahat. Yun, yun lang po. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas din, Anna, Marie. Apo. Okay. So, next? Next? So, na-fundraising yan pala si Miss Anna Marie. <laughs> Tapos, pero pareho din naman tayo na-experience pagdating sa fundraising. So, ang iisipin natin, paano ko kaya bibenta to? <laughs> Ganun din yung feeling ko. Ibig sabihin ng feeling ko, although, alam ko naman na uh, kaya siya, no? Mas mataas. Kasi nga, kasi we are trying to uh, feel the heart of God the heart ng Marijek. Na Marijek. So, which is, that's the very uh, feeling na na-receive, na naramdaman ni Jesus Christ, ni Heavenly Father, of course, throughout human history, throughout history, and that's the very feeling na, na, na naramdaman din ni Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago when he was rejected and uh, was put through the way of the cross. Yung feeling na rejected na hindi ka tinatanggap, yun yun. So, kung tayo during fundraising, nararamdaman natin yung rejection, how much more Jesus Christ sa panahon na yun? Kasi si Jesus, yung mga tao na yun, the strive lights are the people whom God have prepared Uh, 4,000 for 4,000 years para ma-receive si Jesus Christ to accept him. Pero siya rin yung nagpapako sa kanya. So how 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 painful that is na maramdaman na ni Heavenly Father at sa kani 
Jesus Christ. So next is that, how about, uh, si heaven. Mauna nga yun yung bunso. <laughs> si heaven. Uh, good evening, Father, brothers and sisters. Um, I think my reflection is about the characteristics of a perfect person, like how they have a unique existence and how they have the value of the entire cosmos, but especially about how they assume uh, divine value and that, that Jesus was a perfect human being who realized the idea of creation on the individual level. And like for us to also perfect ourselves, we also have to realize that the same idea of creation but not just on the individual level, but also on the family level and the world level. So um, I think that was my reflection for tonight. Thank you, Paul. As, as Miss Heaven, as a second gen, do you think, uh, no? Uh, are you born perfect? I personally, I don't think so. I think we also have our own. Um, individual journey to grow ourselves and uh, make sure that we're always following God's will and being the type of person he wants us to be. Thank you, Ms. Haven. Now, so all of us need to, to, to go through, yun yung sinasabi ni Ms. Haven, go through the uh, process of or the growing period proper process of perfection whether we are first generation or second generation each of us need to go through the growing period and perfect ourselves individually before we multiply of course if we we are perfect when we are perfect we are to multiply goodness but if we we get married before perfection, what do we multiply? Of course, we multiply what is us, di ba? Hindi ka naman pwedeng, kaya nga sinasabi yung, yun yung sinasabi ni Miss Heaven eh. Uh, how can you multiply apples when you are a grapes? Oh, di ba? <laughs> and bind pala yung isa. Bind siya, tapos yung uh, tree, di ba? Hindi pa pwede yung ganon. So, yun yun. Yun yung ibig silang sabihin no? If you cannot multiply goodness if you are not uh, perfect individually. Kailangan, yun, uh, kailangan natin ma-perfect ma, ma, ma yung sarili natin. That's the reason why dapat mauna yung uh, individual perfection before family perfection and then after that uh, automatic na yung third eh, yung pangatlo perfection of dominion so in. so what's next ay who's next pala how about Miss Abe uh, Nevian your reflection po uh, good evening, Paul, brothers and sisters. Uh, good evening, I, uh, I think it's important to know and understand that Jesus' mission on earth was, was not to die on the cross. Uh, because, uh, you know, a lot of people think that that is the case uh, for us to achieve, to achieve salvation. But his mission was actually to find the substantial Eve and to fulfill the three great blessings in order to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. So I, I think it was, it was good to know and to be able to understand that. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, Miss Abe. <laughs> thank you, Miss Abe. I'm Abe, Miss Nevian. Uh, sinasabi po ni Miss Nevian na, na learn daw niya na si Jesus Christ 
yung natutunan niya is that hindi dapat siya na ang mission niya ay hindi yung way of the cross. Yun yung uh, maipako sa cross, kundi magkaroon ng uh, mahanap niya yung kanyang if sa, para magkaroon sila ng pamilya na siyang magpanggagalingan. Okay? Yung pamilya ni Jesus Christ at saka yung yung palawang if na hindi nagkasala, yung hahanapin niya. Isa kasi yun sa mission ni Jesus Christ. And 2,000 years ago is to find uh, the only begotten daughter na nawala na noong panahon ni Adam. So, if naging hindi siya napako sa krus, nahanap niya yon yun yung mag-uumpisa na ng, ng, ng pamilya ni God. Yun yung kasi ang pamil, uh, hindi nagkaroon ng pamilya ni God kundi pamilya ni Satan, di ba? So si Jesus Christ ang mag, at sa kanong kanyang gib yung mag-start no pamilya ni God. So yun yung mission na ni Jesus Christ. So hindi dapat siya ma uh, hindi dapat siya mapako sa krus kundi dapat i-accept siya at saka para magkaroon no in, ng, ng complete salvation, hindi lang spiritually but also physically. So that yun yung sinasabi na, uh, yun din yung sinasabi ng rebirth. Magkakaroon tayo lang ng rebirth kapag merong mga magu, may mga tunay na magulang. Na, yun yun. Na, itat na dapat in yung the, isang mission ni Jesus Christ maging tunay na magulang siya pero hindi siya pwedeng maging tunay na magulang tandaan natin kung wala siyang if so kailangan din yang bago siya maging tunay na magulang hahanapin niya muna yung if niya yun yun yung dahil siya yung only begotten son so meron din dapat only begotten daughter na hindi nga siya nagkaroon ng pagkakataon dahil napakos sa sa Cruz. So that's the, re- the very reason why dun sa chapter 4 natin na sinasabi natin na hindi dapat mapakos si Jesus Christ sa cross. So hindi yun yung original na yun yung hindi yun yung original na plan ni God pero uh, nagkaroon lang ng alternative so that nagkaroon lang ng uh, yung alternative na yon para magkaroon ng spiritual salvation, para magkaroon, maging daan para magkaroon din ng pangalawang pagbaba, yung pangalawang pagbabalik ni Jesus Christ. Para nang sa ganon, ma-fulfill na niya sa pangatlong pagkakataon, yung, yung hindi na-fulfill ni Adam and Eve. That is, ano, uh, in yung fulfillment of the three great blessings yung nasa Genesis 1 verse 27 at 27 ba 28 okay correct ako yung be fruitful multiply and have dominion over all creation so sino pa hindi nagreflect si Miss Corazon nakapagreflect ka na Miss tapos na po. Tapos na po. Ay, tapos na. Oh, tapos na. Kuya. Kuya Julius, ikaw na. Ikaw na, kuya. I-wrap up mo na, kuya. <laughs> or tatawag. Kuya. Kuya Julius. Ah, yes. Hello. Good. Evening. Tapos na po lahat sila mag-reflect. Talaga? Yeah. So, yung additional mo na daw po yan. <laughs> About ano this topic. Oh, uh, additional insight po. Or additional inspiration. Yes. Good evening everyone. So, uh, here in Christology, there has been issues, uh, uh, including Trinity, because Christianity is 
sees, uh, see it as God, Jesus, Holy Spirit as one. So we believe that Jesus is God and also the Holy Spirit. So, but here it was, it is uh, clearly explained, you know, that uh, this is separate beings manifesting a uh, dual characteristic. So we know that God has this dual characteristics of positivity and negativity. So uh, clearly manifest there. And also rebirth. Uh, it is because because of the fall, Adam and Eve became uh, evil parents. So multiplying evil children. That's why they need to uh, be reborn anew as um, uh, true children, not true uh, Jesus Christ, uh, I know, uh, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit um, having this uh, rebirth, removing their original sin. But um, this is only spiritual rebirth. So that's why Jesus Christ would come again to, to have this spiritual rebirth as well as God rebirth. So ultimately, from that foundation, we can establish the substantial kingdom of heaven. And also, there is a question here about is uh, Jesus God? It is because um, from this verse of uh, John chapter 3, verse 3, uh, it said there, He who has seen me has seen the Father. So Christians believe that uh, from that verse that uh, Jesus is God. But here we learn that it is because Jesus attained um, the purpose of creation or the ideal of creation on which uh, he, he assumed a divine value comparable to God. No? So he has the same divine nature as God. So attained oneness with God. So he says, he who has seen me has seen the Father. So because he attained oneness with God. And just like what we understood in the earlier chapter, our mind oh, um, may be understood as, uh, our body may be understood as a second mind. So the same analogy, um, Jesus Christ has uh, God's second thought. But this, so there are uh, Bible verses also that uh, supported that in uh, Timothy 2 5. It said there, Timothy, uh, yes, for one God, uh, there is one mediator between God and man, man uh, and man, the man Christ Jesus. So Jesus is a man, so we understood Jesus is a man who fulfilled the ideal of creation. So uh, he's, he was not God. No? And second is uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 34, that uh, Jesus Christ has been interceding for us before God, as he did while on earth. So uh, if he is God, why he needs to intercede no? between um, man, fallen men and God. So that also supported that he's not God. So I think that's all I can, uh, I can say. Thank you. Thank you, Kuya. Yes. Thank you. So today is Christmas, diba? Maraming pa tayong panahon. So, as a Catholic, no, uh, no, nagsisimbang gabi ako today, pag magsisimbang gabi tayo, i-re-rein act yung ano, yung, i-re-rein act yung pagkapanganak ni Jesus Christ from, ano, uh, si Mary nakasakay sa, saan ba yun? Donkey ba yun? So, kung po pa, saan siya nakasakay and then kakatok sila sa lahat ng bahay, gano'n. Diba, gano'n yung reenactment sa Catholic 
uh, ano natin, yung last na simbang gabi, yung pang 10, diba? Pang 10 ba yun? Yung pang 10. As a child, I never like yung Belen. Hindi ko gusto yung Belen. <laughs> hindi ko alam ko ba't hindi ko siya gusto. Actually, hindi rin ako. Ayaw ko din ng mag-ice ng Christmas tree, ganun. Tapos under the Christmas tree kasi meron dong Belen. So, usually may ganun. Bakit ayaw ko ng Belen? <laughs> Bakit ayaw ko ng Belen? Uh, yun, lahat ng ano, meron pa nga minsan, di ba? Sa during Christmas, may contest na may Belen. I imagine kasi, grabe, di ba? Ano ba yung Belen, di ba? Ano ba yung manger? San ba hiniga yung baby Jesus Christ, di ba? Sa sabsaban, when you say sabsaban, yun yung kainan ng ano, yung kainan ng mga hayop, di ba? Tapos yung higa mo si Jesus Christ dun sa may, so may ano, dun sa, dun sa tawag dito, dun sa, 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 may ano ng palay, di ba yung rice stock, di ba? May rice stock dun, yun yun. E kung mga ano yan, pagkain ng ano yan, di madamo, pagdamo, di ba? Karamihan ng damo makatiyan, di ba? Makati siya. So, can you imagine how how miserable it is? Jesus Christ, the the ano the only begotten Son, the chosen Son of God, is ihiga mo siya sa ano sa 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 damo na natuyo. So, pag natuyo yan, di lalong ano yan, di ba? Lalong makati yan kasi syempre may ano na yan, may mga ano, um, uh, sa air mo, pag napagpag yan, may, meron siyang parang mga dust na makati talaga siya. So, <laughs> that's the reason why maybe, ano, hindi ako natutuwa na dun sa Belen. Kasi nga, <laughs> I can't imagine Jesus Christ, yung isang baby na nihigam siya sa manger. So, yun. And nung, nung ano, that's what happened sa first Christmas, di ba? So, ibig sabihin nun, when, ano, as a parent or Expecting parent, anong mangyaya? Ano ba ang ginagawa ng expecting parent? Diba? Nag ginagawa mo, ate pag nag, nag ano ka, pag ate Sylvia, di ba may baby ka na? Saka si Miss Corazon, si Miss Corazon ba yung nagtara ng baby? Kahit nag ano tayo kahirap, di ba, yung buhay natin, we, we ano, pini-prepare natin yung pagdating ng baby, di ba? Tama. So, Lahat ng pwedeng gagawin, preparations gagawin. Oo. So, yun yun. Uh, sorry ah, pero ayokong sirahan si Mary, si Mama Mary, si Jesus, uh, si, si Papa Joseph. <laughs> pero, if we are to examine it clearly, or in, in start, re-examine it, yung, yung ano, yung situation during the, the the first Christmas, it's not truly ano, parang <laughs> nakakaiyak sa totoo lang. And how ano, the, the Jesus Christ was born, di ba? Makikita nyo na, ano yung makikita nyo doon? Hindi nakaprepare, walang preparation sa pagkaka panganak ni Jesus Christ. So, sa panahon natin, uh, after 2,000 years, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. But during the time na pinanganak siya hanggang 33 years old siya when he suffered the way of the cross, was he able to really celebrate his birthday. Nakapag, 
birthday pa talaga si Jesus Christ sa panahon na yun? Hindi. Parang tuwan-tuwa tayo na ano eh. Tuwan-tuwa tayo. I mean, yung usual ano na. Tapos yun nga, I really don't like uh, Belen. Sa totoo lang. Hindi ako natutuwa sa Belen. Kasi makati yun eh. <laughs> makati yun. Hihigaw mo yung baby doon. Diba? Kahit na sinong yeah. baby, kahit hindi si Jesus Christ eh. Diba? Actually, ate, yung, ano, yung in addition to that, yung reason why why they were not able to prepare, it was because of the not, the environment actually was not prepared. The, yun yung ano, yung time na yun, incidental to sa pagka silang ni Jesus Christ. It's actually the people doon pa lang, ano na, Uh, minamanifest na na hindi handa yung environment for the Messiah. Well, we, sa, sa pag sa birth pa lang ni Lord Jesus Christ as the only begotten son of God, kahit nakaprophesy, nakaprophesy na siya, hindi naiintindihan ng mga chosen people. Uh, dahil nga doon sa incident na kung ano yung situation, kung ano yung uh, pagka, yung pagka, ano niya, yung conception niya, alam nila kasi. So, yeah, yung lineage niya. Kaya nga, minsan, pagka tayo, yung very conventional ang ating understanding. Sometimes, ang gusto nating isipin na if galing kay sa lineage ni God, it should be uh, royal. Royal uh, lineage, something like that. But, ang nangyari kay Jesus Christ, eh Lord Jesus Christ, hindi ganun kasi. Kaya the people who are prepared by God, actually, doon pa lang already did not accept him na. Kaya ganun ang nangyari sa kanya. Yeah, which is true na sinasabi mo po na yung anak ng Diyos na dapat uh, isa-celebrate, katulad ng pag-celebrate natin ngayon, kinakommemorate natin. Uh, she had been received the way we should celebrate at this time. Which is the, the irony. Kung ano yung ginagawa natin is irony doon sa nang totoo nangyayari. So, yun yung dapat mag-reflect din tayo doon siguro. Yung ano yung magiging attitude natin in this present time when we are already having our two parents. What could be our attitude? Kasi baka kung doon din tayo sa time ni Jesus Christ, baka tayo din yung the same people who would not receive Him. You know? Kaya nga dapat tayo. Sorry to interrupt you. Oo. And yun nga po yung ano ko, sinasabi ko, we need to truly reflect on that kasi yun yung sinasabi natin. Uh, at the time, we received the inspiration, the received, uh, no, but as talaga yung spiritual level natin. But ang true challenge kasi is that, kasi ganun din si Joseph, he, he, ano, he protected Mary para hindi siya mamatay, di ba? para mabuhay yung yung ano niya yung yung si Jesus Christ na nasa chan pa lang siya noon and then he, he did that hindi natin pwedeng tawaran yon di ba and also Mary he he she tawag dito he she accepted yung yung ano uh, to be the mother of God yeah, amidst all the ano the, the the moral issues during that time so yun yun. But the ang real challenge kasi is ano as ano believers as faithful believers of the uh, of the providence of God is the 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 sustenance yung pag-sustain natin nung faith natin pag-sustain natin nung ating ano nung ating inspiration Uh, no matter what the difficulty na mape-face natin yung endurance ba natin to to ano na to stand on it di ba yun yung ano and it is this is also our ano as members of the Unification Church <laughs> of the Unification of the Family Federation for All Peace yun yung problem natin. Kaya nga, di ba, minsan yung ating faith is ano, uh, up and down, di ba? Pero, 
Di ba dapat pataas siya? Parise talaga siya. Pataas palagi siya. Yun yung ideal, di ba? Which is yun hindi natin, ano. At least, kahit up and down sana, pag kahit up and down, uh, dapat matutunan pa rin nating mag-up. Parang ganun. Huwag tayong <laughs> pa-down, down, down, down. Tapos until na mag-ano tayo. Until na umalis tayo. Parang ganun. And then, talikuran natin si God dahil na nahirapan tayo. Just like yung sinasabi ni Sir Herwin nung isang araw eh. Diba? Di ba kayo nahihirapan sa ating ano? Yung, pre- yung predestination ba pinag-uusapan natin? Na, di ba kayo nahihirapan sa ating life of faith? Kasi palagi tayo nagmamadali. Yun yung sinasabi niya. So actually, yun yung sustaining. Diba? Yun yung real challenge natin is to sustain our faith. Yung, yung original na inspiration natin when we uh, have known and accepted through parents as the as the Messiah as the second as the Lord of the second coming. So yun. I said throughout our life kasi hindi lang naman tayo mabubuhay ng isang araw lang eh. Mahaba yung at least kahit pa paano when we know the divine principle we accepted the teaching of our two parents may pagkakataon na no mataas yung level natin pero bababa yung level na yan eh. so hanggang kay ano hanggang ano ped ano so palagi dapat natin isipin yung yun yung palagi yun yun to always try ourselves to kung nag-struggle tayo ngayon meron man struggle talaga di ba ganun naman talaga yun may ups and downs talaga but we always must think how to go back and how to gumawa tayo talaga ng paraan ng sa ganun na ma-overcome natin yung mga difficulties na na ano kasi hindi natutulog si Satan The more we go, we are ano, nearer to God, the more na, na ano, the, uh, the more na, na talagang i-challenge niya tayo at sasabihin na uh, gagawa siya ng paraan para maibalik tayo sa kanya, di ba? Kasi hindi naman niya talaga tayo basta-basta. Yung blessing kasi, after we receive the blessing, it's still conditional. Kasi, ano pa rin yun eh, foundation yun ng true parents yun eh, kaya natin na-receive yung blessing. Pero magpapatuloy pa rin tayo sa growing up uh, sa growing up period natin. Hindi pa rin naman tayo naging perfect after we get married eh. Di ba? So, na-remove lang yung original sin natin. But we still need to grow up. If ay ipagpapatuloy pa rin natin yung proseso natin to to become perfect kasi it would take a lifetime for us to 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 perfect our personality to become one with God but because of the ano because of the foundation of two parents we were eight, ano na remove natin yung original sin pero magpapatuloy pa rin tayo pero hindi ibig sabihin na ano ang kaya nga ang difference lang natin sa labas is that yung mga magiging anak natin through the blessing after the blessing after we uh, ano after we uh, tawag dito we completed the three day ceremony is that wala silang original sin yung ating mga anak yung mga second gen mga third gen wala yung mga original sin but pareho lang tayo but yung dadaanan natin na growing period is even if we are second gen or third gen or fourth gen late hanggang later on kahit na ano ba yan na na na, na, na fulfill na natin yung seventh generation which is pure, pure lineage na ano pa rin yan lahat pa rin yun yung eighth generation pa rin yan meron pa rin growing period yan may per, may individual perfection pa rin sila. So, yun yun po. <laughs> Pero syempre, pagdating sa panahon na yun, di ba, 
mas pure na kasi yung environment. Mahirap kasi sa atin sa ngayon dahil mas ano pa siya eh. Parang napakaliit na percentage pa rin natin sa 7.8 billion people. And sa 100 million na tao sa Pilipinas, ilan ba talaga yung unification is not truly naniniwala dun sa ganun. Na talagang mag stay kay Heavenly Father no matter what happens. Yun yung inaaral natin. Yun yung gusto natin na ma-achieve ng mga participants na 21 days. <laughs> yung sinasabi na ang motto nga ng UPTA is walang iwanan. So, yung ibig sabihin, ang motto din ng 21 days, ang lahat ng magta-21 days, kahit na hindi ka blessing or matching candidate, is that walang iwanan, walang iwanan kay God. Hindi mo pwedeng iwanan si God. <laughs> Yun yung ano natin. We cannot, ano, we cannot leave God once, ag- ano, uh, once again. Uh, or again, okay? Hindi natin pwedeng iwanan si God na naman. Kailangan natin na ano. Kailangan palagi tayong nasa side niya. Kahit ano pa yung ibigay ni Satan na, na ano natin, na, na, na pagsubok sa atin, na trials, or gagawa siya ng paraan para, gano'n naman kasi ang ginawa niya kay Adam and Eve sa panahon na yan, nag-brinage niya yung trust ni Adam and Eve kay Kevin New Father. Parang sinabi niya na ano, nag, uh, nagbigay siya ng lamat, gumawa siya ng lamat sa ano. Kasi sabi niya, di ba, ano ba sinabi ni Adam, and, ano sabi niya, di ba sabi ni God na hindi ka pwedeng kumain ng prutas? Parang gano'n. Hindi, hindi ka mamamatay pag kinain mo yon In fact, magiging mas matalino ka kay God. So, ganun yung ginawa niya. So, ibig sabihin, binigyan, binigyan niya ng lamat yung tiwala ni Adam and Eve kay ah uh, kay 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 heavenly father so yun yun dapat maging maingat tayo <laughs> kasi palagi nakaabang si Satan at gagawa siya ng paraan para para magkaroon yung lamat yung newly found uh, trust natin towards God or newly found faith natin kay God gagawa gagawa siya ng paraan para masira yung tiwala natin na yun. So, we need to be very, ano, um, yun. Um, very uh, careful to that. Na alam natin kung nagugoyo na naman tayo ni Satan through other people. Kasi, Maaring hindi niya tayo, si Satan, hindi niya tayo ma-attack because of the blessing dahil yun yung pangako ni Father. Pero pwede niyang i-attack yung mga tao sa paligid natin. Kasi ganun yung ginawa niya kay Jesus Christ, eh, di ba? Hindi niya ma-attack si Jesus Christ. So ang, anong ginawa niya? Si ginawa ni Satan, naghintay siya ng panahon para maka-attack siya through the people around him. Kumakita siya ng ng weakness sa mga tao sa paligid niya. Yun yung nangyari sa panahon ni Jesus Christ. So, that's ano. Yun yun. Kahit victorious si Jesus Christ, kung gagamitin niya yung mga tao na sa paligid niya, at as Abel, gagawin din yun ni Satan sa atin. Yung mga tao sa paligid natin, gagawin, gagawin niya yun para masira niya tayo. So we need to be ano careful sa sa ganon and we we need to recognize that para meron tayong ano eh palagi tayong merong counter kay kay Satan. Yun yung dapat natin palagi yun. Kasi ganin yung ginawa ni Satan eh. Kaya so palagi nakaabang eh. Oh. Sana sana ko atake, di ba? Kasi si Satan palagi offensive yan eh. Kahit sa, sa, sa sports, di ba, sa laro, ganun siya, offensive lagi siya. At si God palaging defensive, di ba? So ganun din tayo, may defensive pa rin tayo, ready daw, dapat tayo. At 
bago pa lang niya ano, kahit maging mas matalino tayo sa kay Satan. Ito e, totoo naman mas matalino tayo kay Satan eh, supposedly because we are the children of heavenly parents. So, nandiyan na si Sir Herwin. Namiss ka namin, Sir Herwin. Maka gusto mo ng new, ano? Uh, ah, siguro si Kuya mag-party ka. Tapos na lang ang party. Ay, after hindi pa tapos eh. Nag-ano mo si Kuya? Five minutes na lang. Four minutes na lang, Sir Herwin. <laughs> We can close it eh. <laughs> Close na dapat. Okay, we can close maganda yung, na. Maganda yung can... discussion nyo. <laughs> Mukha nga pago si Sir Herwin ah. <laughs> Sino ba yung ano? <laughs> can we ask Miss Heaven? Can we uh, ano? Pwede bang ano? Closing prayer, Miss Heaven. Um, brothers and sisters, please join me in prayer. Uh, yeah. Good evening, parents, beloved your parents, heaven, earth, humankind. I would just like to say thank you for giving us once yeah. again giving us the opportunity to gather together to learn more about our divine principle, learn more about um, chapter seven, Christology. Again, I pray that we be able to apply this knowledge that we have learned into our daily lives and make sure that we are always aligning ourselves with you and your will. Uh, Mother Parent, please continue to guide and protect each and every one of us. And this is part of my name, Heaven Parent, the leader of hell. Aju. Aju. Mayroon pa ba tayong mga prayers? Mayroon pa ba tayong mga prayers? Tapos announcement pala, next meeting, meron tayong ano, midterm exam. So, before mag-start yung lecture, may exam muna kayo, midterm exam. Okay? Kasi, uh, next meeting, ano na siya? Uh, part 2. Uh, second, ano na? Uh, part 2 na tayo ng divine text. So, yeah. Madali lang yung exam. Okay, mag Kasi Kisayo lang yun sa inyo. So easy. Very easy. So, open yung cam. Take open yung cam. Photo, open your cam. So, uh, Ana. Okay. All right. So, what? Hey, okay. heart. One, two, sarang hamida. X Vision 2027 Sumi, sumi, sumi X Merry Christmas like this. Merry Christmas, Ibaragi Merry Christmas, Ibaragi Little one All right Thank you very much, brothers and sisters Have a wonderful night. Merry Merry Christmas. Uh, be safe. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Gabe. Kuya Herwin, Ate Rilina, Kuya Julius. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Gabe. Bilis ng panahon. Pepper na po yung Gcash ko. Merry Christmas. Santa ka muna. Dapat walang mali yun rin. Ate Shelly. <laughs> Send ko lang yung number sa ano ha. Namamas ko lang ako dito. Okay? Ah, may mga... Send ko yung number ko. Send ko yung number ko. Send ko yung number ko. Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you next year. Char lang. Next year. <laughs> next year ba? Next year na ba? Next year na ka. Nag-end pa tayo ng ano ha. Joke lang. <laughs> Sa tirulay na talaga, oh. May next week. Alright. Ano, Herwin? May 29 saka 31 pa tayo. Kakatuwa. 
Tanong, uh, heroin, magtanong lang ako doon sa ano. Hello? Sir, heroin daw. Ay, nawala siya. Nawala ba siya? Nawala na. Nawala Sige, ano na lang, bukas, bukas na. Okay, good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Ano handa niyo, Neb, yan? Nawala siya. Bye-bye. <laughs>